right, here we go. It's a windy morning, I tell ya. I tell ya. You kinda see the trees moving and everything's flapping around. But we're gonna get at it. Hold on to your hats. Gary forgot his hat again. <laughs> All right, so you, as you can see, we got the rest of the uh, permanent underlayment down for the tin. Did that first thing when we got here, and now we're going to be working on the soffit underneath the porch here. And it goes all the way around this way, plus we have to add in the vent. That vent is what carries the air on these ends here, you know, up the rafters and then out of the roof up there, okay? Obviously on this side here, it doesn't do that, but we still put the vents in just to give it some room to breathe, so. Vents, soffit, here we go. Oh, this is day 52, in case you keep track. And we're building this log cabin for my mom. We're moving her out of the city and up to the country. And uh, Gary, our friend, has been here helping with uh, his wife Marge and a bunch of you guys, subscribers, and Jerry. And a lot of folks showed up to help, and it's been awesome stuff. And now we're in the home stretch. It's just me and Gary, and occasionally Stacy and Marge. Soon to be maybe just me. You never know. So we got to get busy because it's getting hot. Gary's got a big hot date with his garden this afternoon. And uh, we're just trying to beat the heat, so go. So first up, we're gonna rip these boards that go right underneath here. Two man saw man rip team. <laughs> Where's your guard at? Where's the guard Where's at? Where's the guard? We don't need no stinking guard. You're gonna rip your fingers off. <laughs> That's your 12 foot. Everybody's out cutting hay. Hey, hey, hey. I gotta get the camera this way a little bit. Here. Well, if you bring it down, I can't reach. <laughs> <laughs> That's 22. Isn't it? Did it come out center of it? Oh, it did. Oh, your secret crew did a good job. Yeah, he just 
don't get it we worked so hard we talked about it and everything to make sure we didn't have a seam on the same board it's our first cut after our first boards and we already have a seam on this <laughs> one's supposed to been down here we did the opposite you said i like this for the cuts <laughs> all right we're gonna let that one slide <laughs> right, let's take four feet off of it and use a four foot somewhere else you want to yeah all right <laughs> <laughs> i love it uh, good stuff, man. Uh. Okay, take two. Take two. Too long, too short. <laughs> <laughs> All right, I think we're going to have this. There we go. Boy, they are just barely making it. You got it? Yeah. Um, it's just barely making it. No, I mean, it's on there, but... Okay. I mean, it's enough to hold. I like shooting lots of nails. Millions of nails. Here you nails. go, Gary. Millions of nails. Millions. See that tongue and groove just creates a little channel there after we did our expert math and whacked off the uh, tongue part. And now we're using the groove to actually receive the vent. And that's how you do it. Look now, good. We're not sure if this is exactly how you do it, but this is the way we did it. And I think it's working really snappy. You got a long way to go, Gary. <laughs> Come on, Gary, you can do it. That's bad for my ribs is all that pushing. Ooh, that thing's getting tight. It is, very tight. You can do it, Gary. Better put some gloves on. That stuff touch it like butter. Getting snagged up. Should have slid it in before we put them securities on there. He's got something in mind. He's already been thinking about it. He's going to use a piece of board so he doesn't cut his hand up. That stuff's tight. You know, when you mess with that aluminum or any of that tin for the roof, boy, that stuff cuts you like butter. There he goes. <laughs> Working those series. muscles. All right, let me get this one. Right there. Yeah, I can see it's kind of, it's kind of bound up. All right, you push it. Oh, there you go. You're almost there, Gary. He's so close. You're there. Tight fit. Keeps the bugs out and lets the air in. Nice. Yeah. Certainly can. I might be 
get no one else to on that. Ah! Time for lunch. Stacy's making some sourdough biscuits in there. I can't show them to you, but they're in there in the sun oven. If you guys didn't get a sun oven and you didn't see it on the other video, we cook with the sun all summer long. Keeps the heat out of the house. And it just makes sense. But well, we're gonna go inside and eat lunch and we'll show you what we're having. Oh man, even some sourdough bread for lunch. What's on the menu today? Grilled cheese. Oh, that's like old high school or grade school stuff. Yep. You trying to say something? Yeah, you, you look, you have an age. Are we off. juvenile? <laughs> juvenile delinquents. Oh my goodness. <laughs> How's your grilled cheese sandwich, Gary? Delicious. It's just like back in the school days when we were in elementary school <laughs> having this kind of food. But we don't have these divider plates. You know, school we had divider plates. We had a little bitty home. Uh, no well. Oh well. Maybe if you make a big enough mess next time you come, she'll have us on divider plates. On the narrow, have any problem? They just let them go. They don't do nothing to them. And I'm like, I want my Concord grapes more than anything. I tried something new today. I went ahead and did the biscuits in a cast iron pan in the sun oven because normally when you cook in the sun oven, you don't want to use anything shiny like stainless steel because it'll like deflect the sun. Anything will work besides something shiny like stainless steel. So I put them in the cast iron pan and I think it's a hit. Look at that. We had a really good lunch. Even Gary enjoyed his ice cream for dessert and he got it all over his shirt. <laughs> And also, a lot of people were commenting about the Haymaker's Punch. It is in my cookbook, and you can get that at offgridwithdougandstacy.com. Alright Gary, we can we gotta get back into the groove after that fabulous uh, lunch. Can I do it like this. Like that, like that. That's what I want. That's what I want. I'm not gonna make it. I'm not gonna make it. You like it? I like it. He likes it. The arm here so I can get some action and we're off. Fire in the hole! Let's 
so clean and fresh. Well, that stuff's kind of brittle, isn't it? And I keep saying this is cypress. This is not cypress. I mean, uh, keep saying cedar. This is cypress. Cypress. All the soffit stuff is cypress. And the roofing material for the porch that goes right here. Cypress, not cedar. All right, let's see how this 45 works down there at the corner stop. Oh, those tricky angles are gonna get you every time. You gotta watch it all the time, every little piece. That's complete. And we just move the ladders and all the scaffolding onto this side. That sounds like the meatloaf song. And I would do anything for love. Walk right in. Back. The trick we're having is putting a piece of uh the venting in right there in that little spot. Look at that, Doug. Look at that, Doug. We can get that jerry rigged up right nice. Yep. That'll work. And there you have it, folks. No fancy cuts needed. Oh, while well, I got you, Gary. What? Everybody wants to see your chocolate stain right there. <laughs> just a little bit. Was it good ice cream, though? Yeah, it was good ice cream. I know, man. It's just like the good old days. Yeah, lunch is just like high school. Jumping around like a young guy, and now you got your tomato soup and grilled cheese and ice cream. <laughs> That's why Stacy looks so young. We just eat all that young, happy food. <laughs> just like every grade school. Uh. As good as she gets. I think what it is, I see this side's kind of sticking out. It's cooked. Cooked? Yeah. I believe you're correct. Slide that vent in now. Can he line it up? I tell you, this has been going pretty smooth. I can't believe that this is, uh, we came up with this all on our own, Gary. I mean, we didn't even look at the directions. That's all right. We can. Right behind this, kind of work it out. Close enough. All right. Oh my gosh! Quiet on the set. So are you guys seeing it? You understand it now? These are the rafters. Remember yesterday in the video, I showed you at the top of the roof where it had the gap, and we took the foam out so the air could go in there. These are the rafters that provide the tunnel, if you will, to let that air go up there, okay? And these vents, this allows the air to creep up through there, see? And then it 
thermal siphon. So the cold air comes in at the bottom because hot air always rises. So the air will come in, travel up that canal, and then go right out of the top of the roof. Now I'm gonna answer a question somebody asked. A subscriber wanted to know, she was you know, not familiar with some of this construction stuff, a lot of people aren't, but she thought maybe that because we had that vent going there that it would cause the house to be cold and it would you know, be drafty, but the house is its own envelope and that, that system goes above the foam. See the foam there? That's the, the one inch, one and a half inch gap that we created when we put in the other foam first. We put the rails in, put the foam in, created that gap, then spray foam. So that's just, that air is going to swoop right over the top of here. This building's airtight up at the top now, and then it'll just go right out of the top of the vent up there. So no air from inside, no cold air, no hot air will ever escape up out of the ceiling. That's just to keep it cool up there. So I hope that cleared it up for you some. All right, what's next? More cuts. <laughs> All right, so the goal was to work over here to get all the soffit with vents done. And now the soffit that goes up this way, Creekside, that doesn't get any vents. So we got all the vent soffit done today. And now we're gonna unload that trailer and go get our roofing tin. We're gonna bring you guys along for a little bit of it. <laughs> all right, I just unloaded the uh, trailer with the skid steer. That's uh, we're not gonna tell you what's in there. This is like a mystery. You guys gotta keep stay tuned, keep coming back, keep following the channel, keep hitting the subscribe button, watch every video, and then in a minute we're gonna reveal to you guys what is inside this box. Okay, it was on that trailer, and now we're gonna reveal to you guys what's in it. But you, we're not gonna do it today. That's why it's a big mystery. So we're gonna do it in a little bit. But we're gonna hook the trailer up right now, and we're gonna go fetch this tin and bring it back here. So at least we have it here. It's ready to go. Those guys will be coming any day to get that tin together. Let's see how, oh, Gary's got the backup camera now, so he'll probably hit it pretty good. Everyone's watching, Gary. <laughs> I mean, come on. Man, you gotta love that backup camera. Gee whiz. That's like a 20 minute situation. <laughs> you can actually zoom it in. Oh my gosh, talk about saving all the time for a one man show, huh? Holy cow, that right there is worth the price of admission. All right. Man, you guys saw it right with your own eyes. That's a wrap for today, day 52. We got the uh, soffit done with the vent all around the porch there, like good workers. And we put that last couple pieces of uh, underlayment up there, but I didn't think you guys wanted to see that, right? You saw the whole video yesterday, and if you didn't see the video, make sure you go back and watch the video. We need you to watch all the videos so you know what's going on, so then you won't ask questions in the comment section that were covered in our previous video. <laughs> So now I gotta go make my appointment for the guys to slap this on. Me and Gary are opting out and uh, that's it. So next time we come back, we're going to start finishing the soffit on the creek side there. And then we're waiting on some things for the interior. And then once we get those, bam, we're gonna start putting up the framing walls. We're gonna do the electrical, put in the plumbing. Air conditioner guy's already coming next week. So you're gonna see how he puts in the cuts in the floor. And you're just gonna see how everything goes together. So Gary's just trying to think about it all. So thanks for coming by the homestead as always. If you got any questions, leave them down below. And we'll see you guys uh, on the next video. Hope you guys are staying hydrated out there. See ya.